up next, this is a matchup of two vicious strikers between the cooler and bad intention. Bad intention, ready to go to battle once again inside the octagon. This guy is an aggressive striker with brutal knockout power in both hands, Mike. If he connects, he's capable of ending a fight quickly and violently. Every opponent who steps into the octagon against him has to respect that fact. The Cooler, as always, very well prepared and extremely focused and ready to go to battle. This guy's striking is phenomenal, Mike. He has pro kickboxing experience, and he'll most likely try to keep this fight on the feet and utilize that. When you watch him, you'll see that he throws very clean, sharp technique. This is the perfect guy to model your stand-up game after. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. The cooler is 18. Bad Intentions is 24. The rest is virtually identical. And with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter, holding a professional record of nine wins, one loss. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 144 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Now, attention. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer. Holding a professional record of one win, no losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England, the Cooler. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee. Hey, go, first one, you ready? Are you ready? Let's and go, here go. we go and welcome back to our UFC career mode episode number six and today obviously we've got our only five episode it's against a uh, our obviously weight class lightweight uh, player um, it's against a guy called Luca Knapp uh, silent K but yeah I think that's how you say his name he's, uh, his stats were quite good really he won nine out of ten fights so uh, you know he's not a bad fighter his, uh, you know, his kind of body, his reach, his weight was kind of the same, but it was a few inches taller, which I thought I might use to my advantage, but, you know, it, it didn't kind of seem that way. But to be fair, this guy was actually uh, quite a good opponent, really, and he actually took us to the third round. You'll see, you know, later on in the episode, quite soon, really. But anyway, first up, we was, you know, early on in the match, we were trading punches like hell. You know, I was trying to kick him, trying to get, a, you know, obviously a good knockout. Wasn't working. He was, you know, blocking very good. He was... It seemed quite hard, to be fair. It seemed quite hard to get knocked down. And I see there, we just keep trading punches. It was just an unbelievable first round of a fight. I just couldn't believe it. And then, um, you know, after that, kind of in the second minute, he uh, actually took me down to the floor. But the thing is, it didn't kind of work in his advantage because it was actually me that... Um, you know, we actually get a lot of punches here. He's, uh, you know, kind of wrestling me. But I'm just, you know, banging his face, making him bleed. And, uh, obviously, I'm not going to show you kind of the end of the half. But, uh, sorry, quarter. But, uh, you know, he was bleeding like hell after this time. You know, he was on the floor for about two minutes. And he was just bleeding like... Oh, it was it was everywhere to be fair. And as you see there, you know, we're starting the third here. Uh the first half quarter, why does he say in half for God's sake? Get it into your red men. But anyway, the first quarter I'd say it had actually gone to me. The second quarter, not a lot happened to be fair. I don't know why, but I just seemed to like not do anything. If it was you know, if it was that to say he would have won the second, probably him. Because he had look, it was in the third quarter and look at his stamina, it's nearly full, so you know, he, I think he probably won the second quarter. So, you know, it came down to this. And I thought, right, you know, just in case. Because you never know, like I, like I say always, you never know how this decision's going to go. So, I'm thinking, right, we need to, you know, knock this guy out. Because if we don't, he might win. So, uh, I was hoping to get him down on the floor. Because that's how I've won every uh, fight so far. So, uh, you know, I was, I was throwing some punches. I was trying to get his head red. But to be fair, 
He was actually throwing some as well. And there you see, I get a kick. I knock him down to the floor, make him unbalanced. I jump on him, and, uh, you know, that was it. We actually won, which is quite surprising. I mean, it took us a while, but, you know, a great fight in the end. A uh, good win. You know, that kick kind of made it the difference and uh, obviously got us the win. So, fantastic. You know, that one slight bit of uh, misjudgment, that just not focusing. As you see there, I jumped onto him. He won't block in his face. And in the end, you know, he couldn't take my punches and uh, we win. So, the referee called the fight off uh, about two minutes left of the third quarter. And, um, you know, we get a good win against a good opponent because, to be fair, he, uh, you know, he was a good opponent. To be fair, he just, he won't go down. And, you know, that was the only really time we got him down in the fight. So, you know, good win by us and we will go on stronger than ever. Our second win overall with zero losses, zero drawn. So, uh, so far we're doing good, you know, we haven't lost a fight. But, uh, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have, please hit the like button, subscribe if you are new. And, guys, I'll be seeing you later. Peace.